All right, so walking back through, you go into this front room. So the AC down here is a mini split system. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. The countertops are really nice. Cabinets, good counter space. Kitchen's not the biggest, but it's not too small. There's definitely room to put an island or something if you need more countertops here, because there's a, a lot of cabinets. There's a dishwasher, and then a pantry with some great storage here. Awesome backyard, great garage, beautiful koi pond, really good patio, and then there's a second level deck up there. So walk back through the kitchen, and then dining room here. Beautiful radiator covers, full bath, double vanities, jetted tub, and toilet. Um, down here is a full basement. Very nice. Big living room. Built in some other good coat closet. No traffic on Bellevue Avenue. All right, we'll head up. Built-ins, still no traffic, oh, I hear one car coming by. So again, it is just a neighborhood street, just um, the main one through the neighborhood, but really light traffic. Full bedroom here, pretty good size. So bedroom one, bedroom two, little closets, linen closet. Um, oh, extra attic storage, walk-up attic, that's really cool. And then this is the full bath here, a little smaller. This is the shower. Vanity. Toilet. A little bit tight. Not undoable, but you know, not a lot of space, so not the best. And then this is the sort of their main bedroom, king size bed in here. Not room for too much else in here when you have the king size bed closet there. And then this could be used as another room, but because of the configuration, they've made this into a closet just because they didn't need the extra bedrooms. Because off of this room is this whole space was an addition at some point. Um, this is a nice sunroom that has a little deck off of it as well. So it's almost like they have a master suite here, but at any point this could definitely be easily converted to a nursery if you had more kids come. So sort of a three to four bedroom, um, depending on how you configure it. And, um, but yeah, again, the bathroom is a little tight, not too bad up here. Um, go out on the deck. Pretty view up here. There's the koi pond. That was a model. It's really pretty. We'll go down and see it. Well, this sort of gives you a good panoramic. Um, the people next door have a really pretty yard. People over here have a really pretty yard. Nice, really nice garage. We'll peek in there too. Table set. Couple, couple koi in here and some nice big goldfish. And then we'll peek in the garage as well. Power door opener, nice garage door. For a garage, it's in really good shape. And then here's the back of the house. So we'll run down to the basement, but also grill. Back in the kitchen. Shoot down into the basement. The stairs are solid.
plenty of headroom. Probably even Tommy wouldn't have much trouble walking around down here. Um, nice washer and dryer. There's a toilet um, in here too. And toilet and sink. Washer and dryer there. This door goes to the outside into the backyard if you need it. Um, there's some water coming in there. I'm not sure why. But find out. And electrical boxes. So here's the water heater and then the furnaces. I guess there's dual systems. Probably one for the upstairs and one for the downstairs. But those are nice natural gas. They look to be in pretty good shape. Upstairs it's central air. Downstairs it's the mini split. So let you know what you think. Um,